Good morning, I'm Robin Williams. I'm an interventional radiologist. I'm going to show you how to do a superior mesenteric artery angiogram on the symbionic simulator. We'll start as normal with a J-tip guide wire, which we'll insert into the abdominal aorta. And over that, we're going to insert a catheter. This will be a pigtail diagnostic catheter. And we'll use this to do a flush aortic angiogram to give us an idea of the levels and the configuration of the vessels. We'll place the tip of the catheter at about T12 level, remove the guide wire, and we'll do a subtracted angiogram at 15 mils at 10 mils a second with a breath hold. Lovely. And we can see a clear view of the celiac and the superior, superior mesenteric arteries along with the renal arteries. So we'll remove the diagnostic catheter, the pigtail catheter. So reinsert the guide wire. And we're going to replace it with a catheter that will let us engage the superior mesenteric artery. For this, we need a reverse curve catheter, typically a sidewinder, or otherwise known as a Simmons II catheter. So again, keeping the guide wire still, we'll insert the sidewinder catheter. And this particular configuration of catheter needs to be reshaped and turned into the reverse curve configuration. We typically do that either in the origin of the left subclavian artery or in the aortic arch. So we'll take the catheter up to the arch over the guide wire, remove the guide wire, and then push forwards and rotate anti-clockwise and then pull it back down and you can see the shape that it's formed. And we'll keep it pointing laterally to try and help it engaging other vessels that we don't want to see on the way down. And recenter over the target area. So as we pull the catheter south, we're going to turn it so the tip of the catheter is pointing anteriorly. And this will allow it to engage probably the celiac artery first. You can see it just starting to deflect. We're going to remove the guide wire and confirm that just by injecting a little bit of contrast. Just push it back out a little to see a bit more. And there we can see the celiac branching into the hepatic and the splenic arteries. We can get a better view of that by angling the image intensifier so we get a lateral view of the patient. This vessel comes off anteriorly. We'll have to drop the table. And again another small injection just confirms that this is the celiac. So to disengage from the celiac artery we push the catheter back up into the aorta. We can see poor view of the catheter because of the diaphragm. So we're now back into the aorta. At this point I think we should do another subtracted angiogram just with a hand injection to try and identify the superior mesenteric artery origin. And we'll do that with another breath hold. And there we can see a clear depiction of the superior mesenteric artery. So in the same manner as to before, to engage the vessel, we'll point the catheter anteriorly and just withdraw it. And you can see the catheter deflect into the origin of the superior mesenteric artery. And again, just a little injection of contrast to confirm the position. If we want to engage it further, we just pull the catheter further in. And we can confirm this by doing another subtracted angiogram. 
Again, a breath hold is useful. And if we need to see a better view of the terminal branches, we'll just look at the patient from an AP projection again. Centre south. Again with a breath hold. And inject by hand and a good view of the terminal branches. <laughs>